You're watching FE exam prep with Anthony Fasano from PASS the FE exam. In this video, we're going to calculate the BOD or biochemical oxygen demand of wastewater. This problem forms part of the civil and environmental engineering section of the FE exam to give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the exam. This PASS the FE exam video and question is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training. Enrique, take it away. In this wastewater engineering problem, we're asked to calculate the ultimate biochemical oxygen demand, abbreviated as BOD. The problem reads, a sample of wastewater is incubated for seven days at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. After this incubation period, the BOD is found to be 211 milligrams per liter. The reaction rate constant is 0.14 inverse days, base E. We are then asked to select the answer that is most near the ultimate BOD of the sample. Before we look at the solution for calculating the ultimate BOD, we should note two things. First, we're given the reaction rate constant. We won't need to calculate it for this problem. The second is that the reaction rate constant is given in base E, which when we look at the equation in a moment, will be denoted by lowercase k. Your textbook may have presented rate constants as lowercase k and uppercase k. Lowercase k typically refers to constants in base E, whereas uppercase k refers to constants in base 10. The BOD exertion equation expects the constant to be given in base E, so we won't have to convert it for use in the equation. We will use the BOD exertion equation shown on the screen for this problem. Y sub t refers to the BOD value relative to a point in time. L refers to the ultimate BOD. This is going to be the variable that we are searching for. Lowercase k refers to our constant in base E, and t refers to our reference point in time. After rearranging the equation to solve for L, the ultimate BOD, we are ready to substitute in our known values. Y sub t is 211 milligrams per liter at day 7. K is 0.14 inverse days. T is 7 days. We perform our calculations and find the ultimate BOD to be 337.8 milligrams per liter. When we refer back to our answer choice options on the first slide, we see that this is very close to answer C, 340 milligrams per liter. Accordingly, C is the correct answer and we choose it. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and will run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a problem you need solved. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.